So hi there. Um, today this is my Night Templar 2. I'm going to demonstrate that um, I have the ankle servos, the one at the right or bottom removes, and it can still work rather nicely and stuff. So what I'm going to do is uh, start from first principle, which is from if you can if you saw my first video, it's swing left and right. Okay, you do that to get the swinging rhythm going and the posture is correct and then you move on okay so here you go okay so what you do is you lift the leg quickly you drop it down again quickly and you pulse and then you do the same thing with the other leg and so on but before you would tilt it with the ankle and the hips but now you do it quickly and it isn't it's kind of like jumping all right. So the 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 idea behind it is that uh, before when you lift the leg, the robot will drop like this naturally. All right. But because the speed is so quickly, the foot comes down, and before the the robot has a chance to drop. All right. So you start off something like this, and then you move on to the walking. Okay. This is the next step. Alright, as you can see there's a pulse in between because it's exactly the same thing as the one before and there's a, the only thing different is that now it's step forward instead of standing on the same place. So it lifts one leg and it tilts a little bit as well to allow it to walk. And then instead of dropping the foot at the same place, it drops it forward like this. And then it lifts it back to the same thing and then like this. Alright. So it's not smooth, but you need this. You need to get the posture things timed correct, all right, and then you're ready to move on to the next thing, which is to reduce the speed and reduce the pulsing between, and then you just the forward and backward tilting in respect to the speed of the walking. So you get something like this now. Okay. And then I also got the arm things moving to help it too. Okay, it's quicker. As you can see, starting to get unstable. All right, and then you gotta compensate, and now you get another. This is the quicker one, the better one. It's much smoother, you can see. Okay, so I'll show you on the side. Okay. Um, all right. So now let me show you this. Got a program into it already. So the remote. Got everything programmed, so I just walk like this just to show you it does work. Okay, you need to plug this in. This is the problem with this controller like right? you need to keep plugging and replugging and connecting, reconnecting, it wastes time. Okay, and here you go. Alright, so it works. It's not very stable yet. It's this I just got this working nicely today, so spend one or two days more, it will be smoother, I guess. As you can see, it drops forward a little bit more, so maybe I can reduce the tilting, or reduce the speed, or or something. All right, Let's show you. Okay, we make it walk faster. All right, so the principle again is that it lifts the leg, and it starts to drop down, and then you put it forward before it has a chance to drop too much. All right, and on. The, and the timing is very critical, of course, then you've got to try and error and do it bit by bit and step by step like I just show you. And um, just to show you that without the ankle server, we can still do the basic stuff like walking sideways, sideways, turning, stop. But this one is not very smooth, but it can be done. All right. Well, I'm not saying that like um, it is as good. Actually, it makes it harder to program without the ankle servos. You can see sometimes it tilts forward and backward. But um, to show you, it can be done. Uh, I'm not saying that it can stand on one foot because it cannot, but there are a lot of things that can be done. So you can see all the basic things that you need for fight is already in here. You just need to spend a bit more programming time on doing it. And it's harder to program. You, you need, you need, if you cannot get it working with the ankle servos, then I guess you will not be able to get to do this also. Alright, and I've got some other stuff. So he 
go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.